Back saws are a special kind of saw that are used in fine woodworking for cutting joinery. And there's two different styles. You can see them here. There's a Japanese style and there's also a Western style saw. The thing they have in common though, and what makes them back saws, is they have this rigid metal spine on the back that keeps the blade stiff. So it gives you a little more, bit more accurate work when you're cutting. Let's look at the blades. The blades on the Japanese saw are generally very thin um, compared to the Western saws. And that means that you get a really easy cut because there's much less uh, material being removed and it's very fast. But it also means that you can't sharpen these blades and so when, they're, when they get dull or broken, you just have to throw them out and replace them. The Western style saws, on the other hand, uh, can last you forever if you learn how to sharpen saws, which is, which is pretty difficult, but if you do, um, it's well worthwhile because you can get a, a nice saw and it will last you a lifetime. So let's look at how to use these saws. Um, both saws, like I said, are for doing different kinds of joinery um, in woodworking, and that includes cutting tenons or cutting half lap joints. And I thought we would look at just cutting a half lap joint really quick. A half lap is where you join two pieces of wood at a 90 degree angle by removing half the material of each piece. And it's a pretty common woodworking joint. We're just gonna cut one to show, demonstrate how to use these saws. Now whether you're using the western style saw or the Japanese saw, you're going to start in the same way. And what I mean by that is starting a, a cut involves positioning your hand a certain way with the saw, getting your arm straight in, in line. So get your hand lined up with the saw. You can put, put your finger over the, over the back. That helps sometimes. Wrist, elbow, shoulder all aligned. This just helps the saw sort of become one with your arm. And then you want you to be squarely, standing squarely behind what you're doing. If you're off to the side, you really can't tell if this is going on an angle or not. And um, if you're using a Japanese saw, which cuts on the pull, you're always going to start your cut with a push. Now the reason we're doing that is because when you're pushing the saw, it's not really taking out a lot of material. It's taking out a small amount, but it's establishing a kerf for that saw to sit in while you do the cut. If I were using the Western saw, it cuts on the push, so I would be starting this cut with a pull. So you just do the opposite of what it's supposed to be doing. Push, and then you'll make your actual cut. Now when you cutting with a saw, whether it's one of these back saws or a carpentry saw, it doesn't really matter. You'll want to use the whole face of the blade when you're doing your cutting. It just is more efficient. You'll get through the cut much more quickly. Once you start your cut though, if you're off your line, I'm off my line a little bit here, there's no way to reposition the saw. Um, once these saws are too thin and they will not get, you can't re-establish re your line very easily. So that's the importance of starting straight. Anyway, continuing on, we're just going to continue and cut this line all the way down. Now when you're cutting all the way through and stopping at a particular point, you need to keep the saw level. So you're not cutting deeper on one side than on the other. So just be aware of that as well as you're cutting. You're going to need to stay level. And then we'd have to flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. So for this cut, the same technique. We're just going to start on the corner and saw forward. Pretty quickly you'll get down through there and you'll meet your other cut if you went all the way, all the way down. Finish the cut and the wood pops out. Now with sawing, with hand saws, it's very hard to get a smooth surface. You're getting all the little marks from the saw teeth as you're, as you're cutting and so there's always going to be a secondary piece of work to do on a, on a, you know, on a job like this which is smoothing out these surfaces and you can do that usually with chisels. But that's really it for the sawing. The sawing is very straightforward. It just takes practice and you can use these saws for simple joints like these half laps. You can use them for the most complicated joints like dovetails all the way down the line.